We are here in the hotel, the Z Z Zed Hotel. What, what, what does that mean? Zed, most of the people, they misinterpret. They say Zed maybe stands for Zanzibar, but it's not actually. Zed is just oh. a letter that have been, uh, you know, chosen by our managing director, who is Keithy Horan and Julian Oriel. They are British from London, who landed in Tanzania the last five years. And, you know, they took a tour and they liked the place in here. And, you know, they had a plan, like, no, we got to invest. So before it was Z Hotel, it's American. Sometimes they call Z Hotel and, you know, people sometimes they call Z Hotel. It's all the same. Okay. So it was Kigoma Beach Hotel. So it was owned by a local. They bought the property, they bulldozed it, and they came up with an idea, like, you know, we want to change the reality. Because whenever you go around noon, you find hotels, they look almost like the same. Mm -hmm. So the idea was to put something which really looks different to the rest. Kind of, you know, uplifting the face of Nungwe. So that's why you can find Z Hotel looks like really of different design and different style to the rest of the um, Nungwe hotels. Okay, can you give us some examples what is different here? Uh, the modality, like, you know, our, our room style. Like all the rooms have got AC and then you've got a Wi-Fi connection, which is the wireless internet connection, free of charge, whereby few hotels have got this kind of facilities. We have the iPod docking station in every room. It, whereby I think in Zanzibar, I don't think if we find a hotel having iPod docking station, which is really, you know, getting to the digital world, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's innovative. Huh? Yeah, exactly. And um, we're going to have, you know, like all the plasma TVs in all rooms, and it'll be connected to DSTV. So you'll be connected to the media, to the entire world while you are here. Okay. So you don't only come here for holiday, but also you get in touch with it everywhere. So we wait the business traveler also here. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, apart from the investment that we are, we are in here, also we've got a commitment, you know, being in the village. Um, it's not just building a hotel from nowhere, but building a hotel and having a relationship with the villages of Nungwe. Like what we have done, uh, our managing director, Keithy Horn and Julian Orrid, I'll put a lot of, of, of power and, and, you know, lots of money. We are building a school in here for the villages mm -hmm. and also the container coming from the UK having, you know, um, students, you know, yeah. desk, you know, it's kind of like a contribution, a charity work to the village. And also you'll find like 20% um, of employees are also coming from the village. Oh, okay. So, you know, it's kind of a charity work. Also what we have done is improving the road from the hotel to the tarmac where the main road, it was really bumpy, rough. And whenever it rains, we've got pools of water. So we put money into it, you know, improving the road. And it's okay. all for the, you know, kind you of a charity work. You have work. to do it yourself. So the government the, the, the don't help you to yeah. build the road. Yeah, because the government, what they did, actually, they, they, they put the tarmac from the airport all the way down to Nungwe. Mm. But now these inlets from the Nungwe area yeah. to the hotels, yeah. that was like the hotel owner should contribute a little bit of money and then improve those inlets of the hotels. Okay. Of which we found it like it's going to go like a long-term goal to achieve this. So Z Hotel is Z Hotel. The managing directors, Keith Horan, and Julian Ori, they said, I think let's just put ourselves to make sure that we do it. So mm -hmm. they put money into it and really can see the difference of the roads being improved. Okay. And also the villagers are very happy seeing the school uh, being upgraded, we're building classes, bringing some more desks. Also we had some sports uniforms hmm. that have been brought to the, you know, to the students, pupils of the uh, school of okay. Nongwe village, yeah. We yeah. talked about uh, employees, uh, how you find the, uh, good employees uh, here? Is it hard or, or, or simple work? <laughs> uh, it's, it's really not that a tough task. What it happens is that there are different departments within the hotel. I can agree that there are special departments that you need some people with special skills, you know, like running F&B, running, you know, computer with the technology, you know, the system. And they also have got, you know, departments like housekeeping. So like housekeeping and gardener, we really take people from the village mm -hmm. because we believe in training. People have got brain, we train the people and they are very quick learners. So you'll find that like housekeeping, gardening department, pool attendants, they are very trained, they are people from the village and the nearby island called Itumbatu, of which mm -hmm. the villagers are very happy that we have got kind of a relationship. So, and the other people, we take them from mainland, who are still Tanzanians, you know, for special skills, like, you know, IT uh, manager is from mainland, you know, uh, front office manager, uh, the assistant manager, who the, I'm doing my position, and uh, FNB manager also. Mm. And also these people have got experience, uh, you know, 
they are training the rest of the team. So yeah. we have got the in-house training kind of, you know, we call them like on-the-job life training courses. Yeah, myself, I'm working as the assistant general manager for Zaire Hotel, but I've been working with different companies like Conservation Corporation Africa, CC Africa who owns Mnemba Island. Mm -hmm. I've been there for two years. And then I went to the chain hotels at Ngorongoro Crater Lodge, Manyara Tree Lodge, Clans Camp, you know, like the chain of the company. Mm -hmm. From there, then um, I wanted more exposure. I joined the Protea Hotels, which is the South African chain, um, being in Dar es Salaam, which is where the headquarters. Then the other dotted Protea Hotels in Arusha, um, Zanzibar. So you have uh, very many experience. Different, exactly, different exactly, experience. yeah. And I've been doing, you know, different positions in these hotels. And then I joined the Serena Hotel, which is also a very big chain, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sales and marketing and also operations department. So really, being with the ZD Hotel from January 16, uh, 2008, my background is like, it would have been very experienced. Mm -hmm. And I started from the scratch. Yeah. My first opportunity, I was like, you know, started as a housekeeping. Okay. Because I wanted to know the hotel business from the scratch, coming up the top, which really now, you know, gives me a great experience, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is the, the most difficult job you've done here? <laughs> the housekeeping? Oh, <or? laughs> uh, no, really, I understand, you know, when you start something from the scratch, you always face some difficulties, you know, some teething problems. It's like when you build a new house, you know, you just gotta move in there, no matter what is finished, no, no. When you are in there, then you can realize, oh, this paint doesn't look no, so good, so I have to change this one. Oh, I have to move furniture, the sofa be there and all that. But mm. you can't just wait like you have to get everything 100% complete. So it's difficult when you start, you know, working in a, in a, in, in a already said hotel. Like if you go to Serena Inn, that's already said of the last 10 years. I mean, the systems are there and everything, which is different to Z Hotel. Now we are fresh from the ground, uh, first time in here. They've just set your foot in Zanzibar. Mm. So it has been a lot of extra miles to go make everything in place and get the system running. Okay. Yeah. But what are your uh, future plans? Uh, really, my future plan is become like, you know, a world-class general manager for hotels industry. I love my professional and I love being a hotelier. I love being of service. And that's what I want to develop to become um, maybe one of the world-class managers in the future of okay. hotel industry. Yeah. Okay, the last question. Uh, why all Estonians uh, must come here in, the, in your hotel here? <laughs> oh, wow. What I understand about the Zanzibar, more of this tourism in Zanzibar is so much we call inbound tourism. That means we expect two operators to bring guests in here. Mm -hmm. And we have put more effort marketing in the Scandinavian country. Okay. That includes Sweden, Finland, Norway. Uh, Estonia, we go to Hukudi Apu Dijanika, who is mm -hmm. the managing director of Fix ID. She came to visit us here very early in February. But through the little meeting we had, she has been in Zanzibar for the last four years. Mm -hmm. She found Inunga as kind of like your constructing area noise everywhere so she said I think I better wait until everything settles down until she came down here in February finding that the place has changed and she got to crash with that hotel like oh my god this is a property she, she loved the hotel okay. and from there then she took her great effort going with marketing in Estonia and they were really um, very very happy with the marketing coming from her house and I'm sure it's gonna be a really great great relationship in business in the future Okay, yep. thank you very much and good luck. Yep, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah.